शुक्रान कहीं नहीं चिट्ठू The executive secretary Salvador Mijaldia and the other members of the cabinet, excellencies of the diplomatic corps, secretary Saidamin Bangrungan, distinguished members of the Senate and the House of Representatives, officials of the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao, other invited guests. Ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum. I join the entire Muslim Filipino community in thanksgiving as we mark the solemn culmination of the holy month of Ramadan. <clears throat> the Elfiter or the festival of breaking of the fast. As a testament of the strength, faithfulness, and solidarity of our dear Muslim brothers and sisters across the nation and around the world. Indeed, this important occasion, marked by a deep devotion of prayer and unqualified dedication to religious obligations, serves as an inspiration for the rest of us to be firm and committed to our own convictions, religious or otherwise. To our Muslim brothers and sisters, I hope that this time of fervent communication with God, that you will not just be strengthened spiritually, but also enriched with relationships with your fellow men, especially those who are weak, oppressed, and marginalized. May this be an opportunity for the practice of generosity, tolerance, and love for our fellow men, regardless of their religious belief, political affiliation, socioeconomic status, gender, ethnicity, or physical condition. I urge the entire nation to contemplate upon the true meaning of Ramadan. May this time of joy remind us of our shared pursuit to establish lasting peace and stability across the country, especially in Mindanao. Allow me to take this moment to assure you that this administration will endeavor to preserve the fragile peace that we have built in this region that I call home. Allow me to take this moment to assure you that through the National Commission of Muslim Filipinos, we will consistently uphold the rights and welfare of all Muslim Filipinos, and for that matter, for all Filipinos. Any form of violence against the Muslim community or any other tribe, especially those arising from religious extremism, hatred, discrimination, and misguided beliefs will never be tolerated and will be dealt with by the full force of the law. With the creation of the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao, a campaign promise that we delivered, we can work more closely and efficiently with our Bangsamoro brothers and sisters in our pursuit to foster a more harmonious and meaningful relationship among all ethnic groups in the region. Let us keep in mind that the heart of the Islamic faith and teachings of Allah is the most important or are the sacrifice, the value of charity, the reverent duty to look for each other, and one would look out for himself. I hope that despite our differences, 
Each of us will realize that we share the same desire to lead brighter and better lives filled with optimism and acceptance. Let today's joyful celebration remind us that we need to work in solidarity with one another so that we can achieve a common dream for a more peaceful, just, and prosperous Philippines. Id Bumarak. I'd like to add two things to my speech. The first is about uh, the money of uh, the ETU, the housing uh, uh, department uh, that was used in the, uh, to finance the pilgrimage of our Muslim brothers and sisters to make the Hajj. Second is uh, about the, well, uh, to enhance that religious uh, uh, spirit in the hearts of all Filipinos. I would like to address myself to uh, the Audit Commission. You know, there are a, there, there's, there's the basic culture of the Malay, tayong lahat. We all come from the Malay race. It's just that uh, Mindanao was evangelized by the Muslim missionaries, but more than uh, 80 to 100 years ahead of Magellan. When Christianity came and took hold somewhere in Leyte, uh, Christianity also began to creep into our country. We are one in blood, but we have different religious ways. And we accept that. And we accept that you are entitled to, to believe what you want. And even that to believe in God. That's a democracy. And we have adapted that kind of democratic practices and institutions. You can either believe or not believe, that's your problem. Because after all, when you die, you face a law and make the accounting. But there's always a hell and the heaven. There are two parts. Choose the one you'd like to try them. But, uh, Ito hong nangyari sa ginamit yung pera. I would like to tell you the history of Davao. As said by the secretary of uh, Bradko, uh, they're both classmates. Si Marungan, pati si Mijaldia. Ah, uh, I would like to sabihin ko na huwag mong masyadong pakialaman yan. Because as a matter of fact, there is a fund that set aside to enhance the travel of our brothers and sisters for the pilgrimage, to fulfill a lifetime dream. Alam mo, sa totoo lang, Maybe a part of my Muslim character says that yung pilgrimage sa Hajj mas importante yan para sa mga Muslim kaysa isang mansion. You can forget about uh, the housing there that uh, are being planned by government. But to the individual Muslim believer, limang mansion na ibigay ng gobyerno, but a simple token of generosity para makapunta siya, makapaghads. Mas importante sa kanya yan. Sometimes you have to take into consideration 
really the subculture. May culture man tayo. The Filipino, the Malay culture. But we have a subculture of the different tribes, even in the matter of taste. Yung recipe ng pagkain. Hindi tayo mag... Uh, so, ganun. Understand that. So, I am asking COA to reconsider ano ba naman yung 5 million? Actually, that 5 million is worth billions in terms of your kind, I said, generosity to finance the poor people na Muslim para makapaghad. <laughs> Sabihin mo, anong importante sa iyo? Yung bahay mo o yung had? And he would readily say, sa hads. At gusto ko, Mayor, na magpunta ako doon. At sana, kung ibigay ni Allah, doon na sana ako mamatay at ilibing. If you can understand the culture, then with the blessed friction in the society. Pag naintindihan ninyo yan, Kasi ang kuwa, pag hinabol mo yung 5 million na yan, then I started as mayor in 1988. Uh, pati yung panahon ni Inday until now, meron kaming HADS funds talaga. Ang aking inihingi sa mga kapatid kong Muslim, na walang pera itong Muslim na ito at matanda na. Kasi yung mga bata, kaya pa ninyong magkayod at magkaroon ng pera at makapunta sa Mecca. Yung matatanda na, yung sabihin mo, matanda ka na, wag ka pumunta doon. Baka mamatay ka. Yan ang hinihingi ko, Mayor na gusto kong pumunta ng had at kung swertihin ako at ibigay ni Allah, sana doon na ako mamatay. <laughs> Yan ang intindihin ninyo. Ngayon, I kept on sending. I started with 10, then 20. Uh, since 1988, an Indai is do is still doing it. Na ngayon kung ipa-reimburse mo 'yan, saan man ako maghanap ng pera? Eh di magpakulong na lang ako. Over the years, it's not a financing of a religious uh, journey. Do not take it in that sense that this is a separation of church and state. Take it as a pacification campaign. For after all, natives man tayo dito and we were subjugated. And because of the religious element, it has thrown us back into the medieval stage of slaughter. Yan ang totoo niya. Kaya magrespeto tayo at, at kung ikapaligaya, E total naman, sinasabi ko, make sure that he is old or he will. Because ang punta niya doon, do not worry. He, he will go there he, and he will pray that he will be buried there. He will die. So ngayon, sabihin ko kay Kua, huwag mong prisuhin yan si Del Rosario Kasi kung prisuhin mo na pati ako madimanda, pati si Inday, pag nadimanda ang anak ko, pati ako, mapriso ako, mag kami uli dito sa Mindanao. Kayo ang bahala. Then I will start again to gripe against the historical injustice committed against the Moro people. Just the same. It's all subjugation and imperialism of the son of a bitches of those 
Westerners. Silamanya, they went to Indonesia, the Dutch, the British went to Malaysia, Americans uh, claimed the Philippines. We were all subject to the cruel foreign domination. Kaya ako, you have to prick into my mind why sometimes I react against certain uh, acts of Westerners, which I think uh, is not acceptable to the Philippines. And Ambassador, it's a matter of respect. Kung gawain mo lang akong basurahan dito, putang ina. At akala nila, nagbibiro ako. Sabi ko sa kanila, isauli ko yan, pag hindi tayo nagkaintindihan, I will declare war. Akala naman siguro nitong, well, well sa media, borogadasyo, hambog ba, hubris. Hindi ba nila ako kilala? Kasi kung walang barko magkarga ng basura, ang Navy ang tawagin ko, Philippine Navy, as Filipinos insulted, we will karga mo yung basurahan, pumunta yun ng Canada, ihulog mo dyan sa pantala nila. And then, of course, the Navy and the police will start to Arrest my Navy man. Baka magbarilan pa. Hindi ko magbarilan. O di maghira tayo. Hindi naman ako papayag na hanggang ganun lang. Kaya hindi na naintindihan yung continuation ng story. Whether I like it or not, you have accept your garbage because I'm going to send it to you. And I'll just discharge it in your water. Aristohin ninyo yung sudalo ko. Uh, gira tayo. Yan ang ibig kong sabihin. Hindi nila nakuha. Uh, lalo na ang mga you know, hindi ko lang ano, mga Muslim. Uh, mga tausog. Hindi tatanggap ng insulto yan. Patayan talaga yan. So, Mabutit na lang, hindi ako natawsog. Nung maranaw ako, maranaw, medyo ariglo, ariglo lang. Uh, altila. Kasi tawsog yan. Masahi-masahiin mo na lang. And the second is, uh, before I end, uh, bakit maging illegal? When as a matter of fact, there is a 15 million annually set aside for the Mecca journey. So kung mayroong piso, dalawang piso, eh, allow na yan. Ngayon, kung five million, if it is a matter of amount and there is no prohibition, yan ang sabi ko nga eh. Marami dyan dito sa gobyerno, secretaries, generals, mga Makulundahin din sa mga circular-circular. Eh, kuwa circular, better, yeah, for not any purpose, sabihin ninyo. Pero kung dyan nagasto lang, at uh, it was allowed, because uh, daan mo yan sa akin, and it is a practice which is good, and it is a practice that we should uh, uh, enhance, practice that should, uh, be, be, that should uh, be continued. So, probably, classmate man kayo, di mag-usap na lang kayo, siguro, sekretary, ulit masyado yung 15. Hanggang Libya ka lang yan, igera doon. Hindi makaabot ang pamasay, o Syria. Naloko na. Di marami na akong may mga workers pa doon. Tapos ang ah, punta ng Hajj, eh, i-hostage ba? Magulo na yan. Kaya siguro, dagdagan mo ng konti. If uh, 
जैसे हाइपोथेटिकल kung nagkaroon tayo at nakabigay tayo ng 15, but that, that's too small. Pang travel agency lang yan. Hindi ito travel agency. Hindi naman yung pupunta doon, magpapicture kung saan-saan. Magpunta lang yan doon sa Mecca to fulfill a religious uh, mandate. After that, mag-uwi naman yan. Hindi, hindi na yan sila. Ano. Para sa kanila, pagdatap pag natapos ang Mecca, wala na silang problema. Mamatay man sila bukas, wala na yan sila. So, ganun yan. So, siguro mga 15, maybe this, you want peace? All of you, you want peace? Filipino, you want peace? Oh, let us invest on peace. Gumastos ka. Hindi mo binibili dito. Tinutulungan mo lang ang kapwa mong Pilipino na ang reliyon, Islam. Let us invest on peace. So, next year, you prepare by ano na tayo, by tribe. So, it's a... Sino yung governor doon at sino yung pati yung opposition? Para yung opposition, hindi naman sinasali. Talat ng Muslim. So, yung opposition, para tabla. Oo, opposition. Siguro one million na opposition. Tapos one million. Ilang bang tao sa hulo na mag-abot ng two million? Okay. Kahit kasali ang taga-saba dyan. So, ano lang, it should be by tribe. Start with the major tribes, then parang you go down, tag ano na lang sila. Maybe, I'll give you an estimate. Ba't huwag ninyong ubusin? Magdaan kayo ng Dubai para mag-shopping. Bakit? Kristiyano sila marunong mag-shopping? Mas grabe itong mga to. Pumunta ka ng... Ah! When was the last time? Malaysia? So, ito si... Grabe. So, ang pangatlo, uh, itong Bangsamoro lo, ang nagtsaga talaga nito, mga military. Military sila noon. Hindi na sila military ngayon. But I'd like to thank the people who really toiled, yung nagpapawis, makiusap, kung ano na lang ginagawa. Of course, uh, you have Doresa for all of these years. He was there. Then the, the, ma, the guy who really just jump-started it again, Si General Galvez, yung sa Secretary. Sir, salamat for your pinausap niya lahat para magkaroon tayo ng kapayapaan. No, kayo. Tasta, gutom na kayo? Hindi pala kayo nagmirinda. Sinabi magmirinda muna doon. You can eat while I talk. Go ahead. If you are hungry, do not mind. Skip the per. Yung ano? Sige, mag mag dala ng para mag umpisa na kayo. May isa pa ako ano ba? It's about magkain na tayo. It's enough that na na pasalamatan ko nila. And the entire military establishment and the police. You have to thank them for the peaceful election. Ang sinabi ko naman just as smartmatic, even if there is one vote that is wasted, hindi maganda yan. It will foment and it will generate, sabi ko, maghanap kayo ng bago 
na walang palpak ni isang boto. Kapag mag -is, may isang maranaw nagsige yaw-yaw dyan, hindi na magtahimik yan, lalo ng madaya. Kasi nga may may gabon. Nana, naman kami. Eh, bakit ngayon? Wala kami sa pwesto. Oh, hindi na pwede ito pa. Pataya na. Sige, mag-revolt ka na lang, Mayor. Magsali kami sa revolutionary government namin. Eh, paano yung mga general? Hindi naman papayag. Makulong tayong lahat. Ay, better. Just, we pray to Allah. It's the same God. Me, I believe in Allah. I believe in God. So, huwag lang nila akong anuhin. Basta ako, mga Diyos ako. And I pray for all. Especially for my nation. And for my... Alam naman ninyo. Sobra. Ang anak kong isa, Maranao. Pag-asawa ng Maranao, Magindanao. Ito si Rigo. Magindanao. Ang bae ngayon. Si... Anak ni... O apo ba yan? Puro na, kompleto na ako. Maranao magiging... Badyaw na lang. Salamat. Thank you.